I've taken on quite a few new beginners um, <clears throat> since after the Christmas holiday. So I thought I would do um, like the basic fundamentals when you first start to learn the acoustic guitar, what I do to help beginners like straight off the bat, like a first lesson or two. I thought I'd make a video because I wanna send out a recap video to my new students. Uh, Cause I mean, that's what I do. You know, that's part of my lessons anyway, is to send people videos. It's, it's better for them to follow videos than, you know, do stuff on paper. Um, so I thought I would just do a, a video that I could put out there for anyone just to see like my teaching style and how I sort of get people playing in the first lesson because that's that's like my goal to get people, you know, making a, getting a sound out of the guitar, just playing a couple of chords, something they can go home and, and practice for a week and, and come back and then we just start building on it from there. Um, I don't go into sort of music theory to begin with. The only the only theory I touch on to start with is the like super basics of the guitar, the string names, E, A, D, G, B, E, or a, a well-known riddle, Eddie, eight, dynamite, good by Eddie, E, A, D, G, B, E. Makes it easy to understand. And you know, the super basics like these are frets, one, two, three, four, there's a there's a dot on the third, there's a dot on the fifth, seventh, and ninth. Uh, some guitars don't have one on the third, they start on the fifth. And when we're when we're fretting notes, when we're putting our fingers down on chords, we don't go onto the actual fret wire itself. We actually aim for in between that, but we'll we'll get to that. So the, the first thing the first thing I do is obviously get them holding the guitar, we get it in tune, and I'm not gonna go into that. But we we learn what I think is the most easiest chord, and I think you'll you'll find this if you look online as well, which is an E minor chord. Um, I don't go into why chords are called what they're called to begin with. There's no point in confusing people that have no music knowledge whatsoever. They just want to make some sounds on the guitar. It's just just remember that this first chord we're going to learn is called an E minor. So we're going to use our first two fingers. We're going to use index finger and middle finger for this chord. It's a two finger chord and it's the easiest chord. And we're going to fret. By fret, I mean pushing down on the on the string until you can just about hear. You can hear it hit the fret wire. That's as much pressure as you want. A, a beginner, beginner, a beginner will tend to over squeeze and you know, don't need to do that. You just need to squeeze enough till it touches the fret. Now the first finger is gonna get the second fret, so it's one, two, on the A string, which is Eddie eight. So it's A, two, and we're gonna press and we're gonna squeeze. Now the middle finger is gonna come directly underneath on the same fret on the D string. So it's going to be a dynamite on the D. So they're both on the second fret. Now where we can, when we learn chords, when, the, when there's fingers next to each other like this, they want to be touching. We don't want to spread this apart like that and have a gap. It's going to cause unnecessary sort of tension and pressure on your hand. We want to bring these fingers together to support each other. And then we can grab them to strings and you press down with both fingers and you've got an E minor. Your thumb, a lot of people will teach, especially classical, to grip the thumb on the back like that. You know, that isn't wrong, but I think for rock and pop and stuff like that, we want to start bringing our thumb up and peeping over the top. For, for reasons I will get to, because we're gonna start bringing the thumb over the top. So it's a good thing to start learning straight away. Don't do this with your thumb over up there. It's gonna to cause too much tension in a weird position. We want our thumb poking up around about the same fret where you've got the main bulk of the chord. So in this case, like behind the second fret. And our hand, our fingers wanna be curled over like this, like a hook. We don't want flat straight fingers like this. That's causing too much pressure. We want them fingers hooked over and there's our thumb. So if I take my hand off, it's kind of going to be like this shape. Let's put that back on. 
squeeze and when you hook over like that and put your thumb up you're making sure because we're just fretting the a and the d strings we don't want to be touching the g b or e open strings with any part of our fingers or our hands that's another reason why it's you know learn this e minor is uh, the, the best chord to begin with so you want to fret that and where you've got a finger up towards a fret this way you always want to be as close to the fret as possible so you, if you're doing the C minor chord you don't want to be like back here wherever you've got a gap up towards a fret where you can always move the chord up as close as possible reason being is it's easier to fret there than further back you know at the, at the beginning stages this is going to hurt your fingertips so we want you know we want it to be as friendly as possible to, to begin with. So I've got them two fingers on, they're supporting each other, my thumb's poking up the back, they're both hooked, and that's our E minor chord. And at the beginning, I don't even, if it's a super beginner, I don't even, you know, use a plectrum to begin with because it's something else to think about. But what we're doing the first lesson is just think about this hand and holding a chord and making a sound. So I just use the thumb to play down the strings. That's all we're gonna do. Because, you know, if, you, if you're brand new to this, if you're trying to think about your right hand, like holding a plectrum or strumming, as well as thinking about this hand making a chord, it's gonna cause problems that you don't need. So we're just gonna use our thumb down all the strings, nice and lightly. Try and strum over the sound hole rather than here. That's your E minor chord. When, you, when your fingers start getting sore, if your hands aching a bit, just let go. And you'll have lines in your fingers. You know, you can do this with your hand, give it a shake, put it back on. So this part of your hand here, where your thumb is, that should be on the back of the neck, like holding the guitar. And then these fingers hook around, fingertips, grabbing them two strings. That's our E minor. And I like to teach people to practice things in groups of four. So get your E minor chord, put it on and go one, two, three, four. Don't go up to five, just go one, two, three, four. It's good to start getting used to counting in four, four. You can hit, you can do a strum brush like that or it's good to do individually because if you are touching any of the other strings with your fingers, you're gonna hear it better if you if you pick them individually. So if you've got your hand correct, arched over, fingertips, try and keep relaxed at all times. That's the sound you want. If you you can play that in the first ten minutes, and you're playing the guitar by doing that. It's super basic, first things, but you're playing it. You're getting a sound out of the guitar. So you do that about 400,000 times in a week and you'll have it. Your fingers will get sore. Just try and limit yourself to, you know, 10, 15 minutes a day. It's better to do a little bit every day, like 10, 15 minutes, than to leave it all week and like do two hours on a Sunday. It doesn't work like that. Consistency is the key, just like exercise. <clears throat> you've got to build up the resistance, build up strength. You know, you've got to build up the calluses on your ends of your fingers. You know, these open chords and first, you know, stages of learning the guitar, it takes a while. <clears throat> and it's where most people stop and give up because they think it's too difficult. But once you get over the basics of just playing some open chords and strumming, you know, you can play anything you want, basically. And whatever style music you want to learn, whether it's heavy metal, funk, jazz, pop, 
um, blues, blues rock. You've got to get these basic fundamentals under your belt before you can move off onto other things. So if you're a beginner, you have to do this stuff. And it's not easy to begin with. So let's move on to another chord. So that was our E minor. So the next chord we're gonna do is a G major. Now to do a G major, our first finger, when we're first learning chords, we always wanna try and stick to a chord movements where one of the fingers shares the same note. It just makes it easier to transition. So in this case, our G major, this first finger that's on A is gonna stay put. We're gonna let go with our second middle finger and then we're gonna bring this along. Remember, we're gonna come up as far as possible. Not, we're not gonna leave it here, we're gonna scoot it up just next to the fret. And then our middle finger is gonna come up to the low E string, Eddie, on the third fret. So it's just one finger that I've moved, but we've moved this along to accommodate. So there's D minor. Middle finger off, pull it along, third fret, low E for your G string. If you left that there, it'd be a bit of a stretch and a nightmare and you can end up hurting yourself and it's just not comfortable. If you bring this finger right up to the fret, which is actually, which is easier as well to fret, then this finger just has to go right next to it here. So that would be a super easy G, depending on, depending on you know the age of the student um, and their abilities. I will teach that G to begin with, just moving one finger and just get them transitioning. One, two, three, four. Pause. Move the chord. One, two, three, four. Super slowly and back. One, two, three, four, G major. One, two, three, four. With the G chord, the correct way of playing it, well, one of the correct ways is there's, there's a, you know, multiple ways of playing a G major, um, but the basic G major is to get your third finger also on the third fret of the high E. So you've got Eddie. A dynamite goodbye and Eddie again. So they're both on Eddie's, both third fret, both on E string. So it's an exact mirror of this finger. So it's easy to remember. And that would be your G major. This finger will probably experience quite a bit of pain quickly because you're pushing down now on the high E, which is really thin. So, you know, just a little bit at a time. G major. Again, thumb up over the neck, holding the guitar in this part. All fingers hooking over. So none of them like this. If you get them like this, you're gonna be muting strings. You gotta hook them right over and it's fingertips on the frets, on the strings, fretting. Even this bottom finger, fingertips. And that's your G chord. One, two, three, four. If you've got long nails, mine are actually getting a bit long, you've got to take them down. Because if you, for example, on this, on this G chord, this finger here, if you've got any nail, it's going to crash into the fretboard before you've fretted the string. And it won't, you won't get the note, you'll get this sound. So, Nice short nails, everyone. So back to that E, leaving that finger down. We can just move it back, put the middle finger on the D string, same fret. One, two, three, four. Lift off, scoot along. Third fret, low E. Took your third finger, ring finger in. High E, third fret, one, two, three, four. And that's what I teach as a first lesson. Uh, we can generally 
get through that and have them playing through them two chords within about half an hour. And, and what I generally say to people is, <clears throat> you know, if we, if it takes longer in the first lesson, then I will spend a bit longer to, to get them to the point of playing a chord. And, you know, that time will be on me, but I can pretty much guarantee that I can get people playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, within the first lesson. Let's do it again. E minor. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if you practice that for like 10 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, within about a week, you will be doing this. There's also another easy chord we can learn. So back to C minor. What we can do is just bring these two down a string each. So we've just brought the whole shape down a set of strings. That's also a chord you can play and just something to move your, you know, move your hand around. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, keeping these fingers for this shape supporting each other that will make it a lot easier I'll do another video on getting into a, a strumming pattern to but once you've got these two chords you know pretty confidently moving around um, a, a good way to practice them is you don't even have to strum you can just put it on and just move it like this squeeze back squeeze back you know, so you can sit there, watch Netflix, watch a film, you know, for half an hour or so, and you can just hold these chords on and move them back and forth. And that's sort of a good, watching TV and doing this stuff is a good way to learn how to do these chords while you're not 100% thinking about them. It's, it helps with muscle memory because you, you, you're like watching TV and you're doing this at the same time. Plus, doing this on its own can get a bit boring. So if you're watching one of your favorite programs and doing this, you know, you're practicing guitar as well as watching TV. You know, if your fingers get too sore, don't let them blister, just have a rest, you know, get to it the next day. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What I eventually lead up to with this song is like a basic strumming pattern uh, based on um, about a girl by Nirvana. So once you can move these chords around, we work on holding the plectrum and we break down the mechanics and the movement of strumming and learn about that. Then you practice that separately on its own. And you practice your chords on your own. And when they're both working pretty well, you can start trying to put it together. If you do that too soon, it's just not gonna work if you're thinking about your right hand and your left at the same time. Both have gotta be pretty tight before you can put it together. Excuse me, and once you can put it together, and then we just keep learning some more chords, you know, more strumming patterns, which gets easier once you know one. And then, you know, you can choose to play thousands of different songs. So I hope, hope that helps. Um, you know, if you're interested in, you know, learning how to play guitar, just give me a shout. I'll put my email address and details down there in the description. Cheers. <laughs>